it's the cold math lady today's lesson is all about simplifying fractions you might not have noticed but you know two ways to simplify fractions I know did you know that I'm gonna show you so take a, a, a problem right here with some fractions we want to add 11 12 plus 5 12 we know we keep our denominator the same which is 12 and we add our numerator 11 plus 5 is 16 now we know we do not keep our answer like this we do one of two things so method number one we can reduce first and then convert here's what I mean so I'm gonna write this here reduce then convert let's reduce 16 twelfths by a common uh, factor uh, let's see, 2 goes into both of these, but also 4 goes into both of these. 16 divided by 4, and let's write it the long way, equals 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So we reduced, and now we're going to convert. We see that we have a mixed number here, so this is going to end up being 1 and 1 third. That's how we can reduce first, then convert. Let's try it the other way. Let's convert first, then reduce. I'm going to write that over here. Okay, so let's convert it first. 12 sixteenths, or 16 twelfths, excuse me, is the same thing as saying 1 and 4 twelfths. And 4 twelfths can be simplified or can be reduced down, so we're going to reduce that to 1 and 1 third. We have the same answer in both locations, but we did it two different ways. And here's the good news. It's up to you which way you'd like to do it. You can either reduce first, then convert, or convert it first, then reduce. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we have 7 eighths plus 3 eighths. Let's go ahead and add that. 7 eighths plus 3 eighths is 10 eighths. And at this point, we can do reduce, then convert, or convert, then reduce. Let's start with reduce, then convert. So 10 eighths can be reduced down. 2 is a factor of both of these, so this can be reduced down to 5 fourths. And then we can convert it to a mixed number, which would be 1 and 1 fourth. Or we can try 10 eighths and convert it, then reduce it. So 10 eighths converts to the mixed number 1 and 2 eighths. We know we can't keep 2 eighths as it is, we need to reduce that down to 1 and 1 fourth. And as you can see, our answers are the same. We just chose two different routes to get there. And the great part, you get to choose. Okay, that's it for me today. Try the practice problems. I think you've probably already been doing this, but it's just putting it together in one lesson so you can see you have choice. Okay, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,